Let's talk a little bit about bolt gap and the roller delayed blowback system. There's a lot of videos out there that already explain how the roller delayed blowback system works, so I'm not going to go into that. I'm talking about bolt gap, okay? So here I have a trunnion that is going to grow up into an MP5SD one day, and here I have a bolt and bolt carrier for the MP5. And here you can see you have the uh, roller lockers that uh, bulge out into the trunnion there. Okay, and then you have this little gap between the carrier and the bolt. The way that you would measure that is by using one of these little guys. This is a feeler gauge. Basically, these are just little um, shims of, of metal at different uh, thicknesses that are all labeled here. And you would take your um, gauge here and shove it between that gap and figure out which one fits the best. The way bolt gap is actually set in the building process is determined by how far you insert the barrel into the trunnion. So you put those together and then you smash it together with a hydraulic press. Okay, so there's your breech face. And depending on how far that's inserted into the trunnion will determine where the bolt face meets the breech face and where that bolt's gonna stop. And where that bolt stops is where the locking piece will start to push out on the roller lockers or the roller bearings. So on the MP5 bolt, you have your locking piece here. The angled surfaces push out on the roller bearings. And if it stops too late, or basically if that bolt is too far in there, then there isn't going to be any outward pressure on those roller bearings, okay? It's going to be loosey-goosey. So if I have the bolt stop farther back here, and then I have that locking piece pushing out on those bearings, then it's going to be solid, and it's going to have the proper amount of tension. Basically, if the carrier is touching the bolt, that means that there's pressure on the bolt and not on the roller bearings. If you don't have enough tension on your bearings inside the trunnion, then you're going to have just a direct blowback and not a roller delayed blowback. You don't want that. You'll have excessive recoil and undue wear on the system. God bless Harbor Freight. So basically you just, uh, Gradually insert this barrel and take measurements as you go. See the shiny part there is your breech face, the barrel, and then you have that uh, little flange in there. You have to get past that flange and then you start actually contacting the bolt. All right, we are really close. So I'm gonna use my feeler gauge and with the barrel inserted in there, I'm going to take a measurement. Basically, I'm just going to shove these shims in here until I find whatever one fits the tightest. All right, nine's too loose. Ten is barely there. Actually, no, no, it's right there at ten. Ideally, what you want is somewhere between ten and eighteen thousandths of an inch. And basically, I'm going to go to that upper limit around sixteen or eighteen because... I plan on putting a lot of rounds through this thing. It's going to get very worn out. And as time goes on and you shoot it, that gap will start to get closer and closer. So like I said, I'm gonna go to the upper limit of around, uh, probably 16. All right, just did my final adjustment and we are sitting pretty right at 16 thousandths. It's a tight 16 thousandths. So there you have it. That's how you properly uh, set your bolt gap now, if you push it too far, all you gotta do is get a socket here and push it back the other direction and start playing around until you get the correct depth. If you have an MP5 that is getting worn out, that's already assembled, obviously, then what you can do is buy oversized rollers to basically fill in that gap.
when these go together and they kith, 